webinar. My name is Mike Calagero. I'm Senior Vice President with our Home Care and Hospice Division based out of Chicago and our corporate author. And with me, Melissa Simpson is our National Accounts Business Analyst. Uh, we're both on the phone today to do a recorded webinar. Uh, and we're going to be doing three different webinars that will be recorded. Uh, on your screen, you should see the objectives that we'll be doing uh, and presenting to you. Uh, the audience for this will be directors, clinical managers, and the actual clinicians. It just depends on the different webinars. So we'll be doing three. This webinar is going to review uh, how Medline uh, handles insurance orders for going out to insurance companies for supplies. And we'll also give you a overview of Medline.com, uh, its features, as well as how to place an order on Medline.com. Uh, a different recorded webinar will be all based on formulary review. And then a third recorded webinar that we're doing that will be separate will be for Medline.com, but it will be for our supply management rule sets, our oversight, and how an order Let's say if you ordered a non-formulary item, how that order would be uh, flagged in our system and what, what happens with that order from a manager and a clinician perspective. So with that said, let me talk a little bit about how we build supplies out to an insurance company. We all know that for Medicare orders, uh, routine, non-routine supplies are bundled into your reimbursement. Some other insurance companies like Medicare Advantage, uh, plans also do that same thing today, but for the most part, it's mostly Medicare orders where we have kind of that bundled concept. And so when a Medicare order comes to Medline, as you're going to see shortly, we take that order and bill it out to CHI at home and we ship it to uh, the patient and the order is completed. But when the payer is Medicaid or Aetna or United or Blue Cross Blue Shield or any other insurance, uh, those supplies are not typically bundled for non-routine items. And the non-routine items, if we had to define that, would be items like advanced wound care, urological supplies, traditional wound care, and some other items. Uh, remember, the insurance company is the one that sets the rules. And uh, for the most part, they follow Medicare guidelines. But items like skin care items are not covered. And so therefore, you know, those types of items, we're going to ask you what you want to do with those types of items if you were using, say, a skin care product for a stage one pressure ulcer, possibly. But if you were using a transparent film, that would be something that is covered. And uh, what Medline will do is take that order, just like you're normally sending to us today, those orders would get called into our Medline customer service rather than doing it online. Uh, you would indicate to us uh, the information, but we also need the physician information, uh, so the PCP is key. We also need the diagnosis that's related to the wound care supply. So sometimes a uh, diagnosis could be CHF or diabetes. That's one of your diagnoses, but that's not really maybe related to the wound care supply. Uh, so therefore, we need the diagnosis to be related to that supply. The other area uh, that we're going to make sure of is that we'll take care of all the paperwork between us, the patient, and the physician, and the insurance company. So it's critical that all of these types of orders are patient-specific, or what we call PHD, or patient home direct, and we ship them to the patient's home, because that address of record will be the address that we send any potential paperwork uh, over to that patient. So we take all the information in, we ship those orders just like we would a Medicare order, and uh, there's no charge for shipping any PhD orders for insurance uh, billing. Uh, and that's different than Medicare orders. So with that said, we're going to go and uh, I'll transition this over to Melissa Simpson. And she'll go through Medline.com. Our website is uh, very intuitive and uh, updated very recently in the last year. It has great search functionality. And I think you're going to be able to see, uh, we'll give you kind of just what the landing page looks like. And you'll be able to at least see uh, its, its features and kind of have how you navigate any system. Uh, we'll show you some of, of that as well. And then the last part of this uh, 
uh, brief webinar will be uh, how to place a order with Medline and what that looks like. So. Thanks, Mike. And welcome, everyone, to www.medline.com. You'll see here um, our home page. At the top screen is a link to log in to your Medline.com account. If you do not currently have a Medline.com user account, you'll select register at the top middle of the page. There are prompts if you have a Medline account number, which in most cases you will. You will submit your request for a user login. If you do not have a Medline account number, you'll select that link. And then this will bring up the screen with information that you'll provide to Medline to create your Medline.com username. Please note any required fields are indicated with an asterisk. So you'll submit this information to Medline. Within 24 hours, you will receive an email from Medline with your username and the link to Medline.com to create your password and begin using Medline.com. And your sales rep can also assist with this process if necessary. So again, back to the Medline.com home screen. I will go ahead and log in using my credentials, inputting my username and password, which is uh, case specific. And as I log in, I am brought to a screen that shows all the account numbers that I have access to with this login. In most cases, you may only have one or two or your own specific location. I select the appropriate account number. And I'm brought to my account dashboard. And from this screen, uh, this is a summary of activity on this particular account number. And so you'll see our first uh, information here in the center of the screen indicates any unsubmitted orders or orders that are still in process and have not yet been submitted to Medline, any orders pending approval by supervisor, orders pending shipment, fully shipped orders, etc., as well as links to open and review additional information for these orders if necessary. There are several links to the left of your screen, including a view current cart, create new orders, order search functionality, which allows you to order uh, search for orders with a particular status, be them unsubmitted, pending shipment, et cetera, using specific search terms, whether it's a patient name or even a specific product, a specific order channel as well, or with the wildcard, you can just look for any order within a period of time. There is also contact information to the right of your screen in gray for your dedicated Medline uh, customer service representative, your Medline field sales representative or account manager, your wound care sales specialist, our home care customer service team, as well as tech support for any Medline.com questions or issues, as well as a link to contact your sales rep directly with an email. Across the top of our screen as well, you'll notice some different tabs for um, product-specific or program-specific information, products are uh, categorized, so you can search for specific product categories in general, different programs that Medline offers to our customers, both supply and clinical solutions, a research library for additional product information, links to our different education programs, including Medline University and programs for CEU credits, additional information about Medline as a whole, and we invite you, when you have a moment, to look at some of our uh, blogs and other information on our website as well.
Uh, for doing product searches, let me just cover that briefly. Um, if I wanted to search for a particular product and get specific information, our search um, functionality has been recently improved. And so um, there are many ways to search for product information. You can either use a, a product description or a manufacturer item number or certainly the Medline catalog number if you have access to that information. But if I simply wanted to search um, a very general term for foam, Typing in the word foam brings up a number of different product categories and uh, different search functionality and uh, filter capabilities as well that I just wanted to highlight briefly. I can um, then narrow my search to specific product categories. I can show only formulary items if I want to only see items that are available to me as a CHI at home customer on formulary. I can search by a specific manufacturer different areas of the body, product specifications, etc. I'll select on Medline's Optifoam Gentle Border. And just as a brief highlight, you'll see that this uh, screen allows me to view product packaging information and images, descriptions, features, and benefits of the product, literature available for this product, and I links to a multimedia data, product specifications, material safety data information as that applies. Scrolling further on this page, there is also a list of all of the different SKUs or pro specific products within this particular category, as well as indications of formulary, availability, additional packaging, pricing, etc. Selecting a specific Medline catalog number will then bring me to specific information for this product, including my price, packaging information, uh, contract information, availability, product specifications as well. So I'll go back to my account homepage. And we'll talk briefly about placing an order. So we have uploaded for um, all CHI at home customers four uh, general product, uh, order templates for specific product categories, including urological, advanced wound care, traditional wound care, and general nursing supplies. And these uh, templates can be accessed by selecting the order template link to the left of your screen in gray. This brings up, as you'll see, a list of templates available on this account number. I'll select our urological template. And this brings up the list of products within this order template categorized. So you'll see our first category is Foley, uh, Foley catheters, intermittent catheters, et cetera. Again, there are also links to view any additional information on this product if you'd like. So there are columns indicating the availability of this product in my specific branch, whether items are formulary or non-formulary, indicated with a green check mark or also items that are on contract or where Medline is accessing a contract price for this product. And so to create an order, I will simply select the products to add to my order. So I'll add um, a Foley catheter. I'll scroll down further and select an insertion tray. Scrolling down further to my drain bags category, I'll select that product and input my quantity. And scrolling back up to the top of my screen, once I've made my product selections, I can select Add to Order. And this, <coughs> excuse me, this creates an order. You'll see a pop-up. Uh, that indicates that items have been added to my order. This also offers a link to view the order. And this also creates a cart at the top screen 
of the screen in green, which I can also select to input additional information to my order to complete and submit to Medline. So there's order general information, sold to information. Here in the middle of the screen, again, indicated with an asterisk, I need to uh, specify where my this order is shipping. My options are shipping to the branch, shipping to the clinician, or the patient. Again, we encourage you to order patient-specific as much as possible. This automatically indicates that my order will be packaged for this patient as well. I select my patient from the patient database, which allows me to search by patient name or ID, etc. Click Select, which updates the patient information to my order. The visit date is required information for Medline.com. This does not in any way impact the shipping of your order or processing in any way. For your convenience, you're able to set that to today, and that updates with today's date. Next step is to add my clinician. I click Select to bring up my clinician database. Again, I can search with name, ID, etc., or simply select from the list and click Select. I can add any notes to this order, which will be visible to um, all users throughout this order process. My shipping information is summarized below, including delivery address, Medline shipping method is going to automatically default to two-day guaranteed, which is our standard shipping method. In most cases, your patient, uh, orders will arrive to the patient the following day, as long as they're submitted by cutoff time, which is 3 p.m. local time. So I have a list of the items on my order, quantities, again, description links. The, my items are in stock. All three are on formulary and on contract. I can add additional items to my order if necessary, or select Review and Submit at the bottom of the screen in green. And since apparently I have been talking for too long, I will log back in with my password. So the process for placing your order, this is Mike again. We want it to be you know, short, simple, and sweet. We typically see our uh, clinicians out in the field that work with us spend about two to three minutes per order uh, in placing a patient-specific order. And of course, the more you do it, the faster you get it, those types of things. But as Melissa outlined, it's all about using the template. It's a great way to have products kind of your top uh, cheat sheet of products that are out there. Um, the one uh, area that she had mentioned on the note field is sometimes nice to have, especially if you're going to have multiple, um, you might have multiple uh, nurses seeing a patient. And so it's nice to sometimes put notes there if needed uh, so that uh, clinicians might have uh, an idea as to why a product may be being used, et cetera. Thanks, Mike. So sorry about that little sidebar, but I will. Submit my order. Again, this just brings up a quick summary of my order with one last opportunity to do any edits to my order before submitting to Medline if necessary. If I have no changes, I submit my order. I receive a confirmation on screen that my order has been submitted to Medline and is being processed. I have an order number for any future reference information that's necessary. And then I have also received an email in my email box with a confirmation of my order as well as order details as well. So at that point, your order has been processed, uh, is in process and on its way to the patient. So with that said, that will end this uh, session for this uh, recorded webinar on uh, order placement. Uh, we hope that you found it uh, useful and helpful, and uh, we look forward work with working with DHI at home. And if there are any questions uh, with regards to this, uh, again, my name is Mike Calagero, and uh, my office phone number is 847-643-4983. I oversee, along with Melissa, uh, the entire group uh, with CHI at home. So we look forward.
network to everything, and uh, as questions arise, we'll be uh, able to answer them, usually out in the field. Every one of you has a local uh, rep, wound care rep, also a local account rep as well. So thank you for your attention to this, and uh, have a great day.